What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here today, back with another series that is returning for 2016, that's right, Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. Well, it doesn't actually have a year on the game, I was going to say 2015, 2016, but it doesn't have a year on the game, it's not even a year, it's just Rory McIlroy Golf PGA. And um, today I actually have a funny story to tell you guys. So you may remember a long time ago, obviously, I did my Rory McIlroy PGA Tour career mode. And um, things were going all good. Like, we're doing quite well. I think we were up to about the US Open. And um, this is where, I guess, the funny story actually starts. Now, basically, I went, uninstalled the game from my PS4 because I hadn't played it in a long time. Went to go and reinstall it. Was all good. Couldn't get past the prologue, which a lot of people have had some issues with. So I went and deleted some of the saves. Was like, I'll keep my career, but I'll get rid of all the other data. Well, funny enough, it actually went and deleted everything off the game, which was a real pain. So we lost our career mode progress. But in saying that, I think I've got up to a pretty similar position to what we were in, uh, I guess, before. Well, when I last did this video. So, we haven't really lost anything. We're carrying on with the career. Maybe we've lost a few uh, skill points and stuff because I haven't really been playing tournaments um, as much as I did on my old career mode. But, basically, we are just about back to where we were, uh, I guess, timeline-wise, when we last did this series. So, I'm really looking forward to getting back into it. A lot of people did ask, you know, like, where did the PGA Tour uh, career mode go? And so, it's back... It's just something a bit different from all my other videos, and I really enjoy uh, doing it just because of how different it is. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and hopefully we can get back uh, to how we were going uh, previously. We're going to try and put some side spin on this one. Don't want to get too much because otherwise we are going to head down the hill. Luckily the rough, well we're actually in the first cut. I was going to say the rough will hopefully stop that ball, but no green in regulation. But a chance here for a chip in booty, and we get it, boys. Just like that. Beautiful work. And um, all of a sudden, we move to one under and move up to six. So it is quite uh, low scoring here in this first round. Burger, though, is absolutely killing it. Five under after seven holes. That's what you want to see. So we have four holes left. We're in sixth place. We obviously hold out that birdie last time around. This is dead straight. This is actually looking good. I was going to put a bit of forward spin on it because I thought we may need it, which we might. Oh my goodness. So close. What a return to the series that would have been if we'd managed to go and hold ourselves. You, what is it? Hold yourself a hole in one? I don't know. If we'd managed to go and pick up a hole in one. Just like that. Our putting has been, I wouldn't say suspect, but obviously we missed that birdie putt uh, first time around on the first hole. Didn't have to putt on the second hole. We pick up another birdie there. So move up to fifth, two under after 12, and um, just continue, I guess, that rise up the leaderboard. We could have been three under had that hole in one gone in. Now 544 yards. So this is, uh, I was going to say, this is a fairly short par 5, but I don't know if we've got enough on this drive. We're going to go and try and get as much forward spin as we can. If we can get it up, I mean, we've done well. We've got it up over 300 yards, um, so it leaves us, if my mass is correct, about 230 left to go. 227, so I was close, um, to go and obviously get to the hole. I don't think we're going to be able to do that, but we could go and get ourselves potentially quite close. If we can get it just on that fringe, Shit, we might actually get it on. We have got it on. It's going to be a tough, tough eagle putt, but we are on the green under regulation. So even a two putt here, I'm not going to be too concerned about because we are still going to walk away with birdie and move us to three under. But this is a very tough two putt. 67 feet out, 11 inches downhill, and I bet you it's going to be moving all over the place. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Very difficult putt this. If we can make it, though, it'll be a great great eagle. We're just waiting for the putt to read because I have no idea where this one is going. Absolutely no idea. I'm guessing it's going to break from right to left. Downhill a little bit. <sighs> Still reading. It probably can't read it. It's too far away. You could send a man there. This is like the whole MCG is so big thing. Putt read not found. Okay. So we waited all that time to find out that there was no putt read. So we're just going to have to take this blind in the dark. We're just going to send it down there and hopefully go and get close. That's actually not 
a bad putt at all. A little bit too much weight on it, a bit uh, less weight, and we could have possibly ridden that break a wee bit earlier on. But from there, a very good approach putt to go and probably uh, take a birdie. I say probably take a birdie because this is a tough, this is a tough wee putt, this one. It's come around. I thought we were going to almost edge it, maybe lip it out, but another birdie. So uh, three under now, two holes left to go. Oh, and I need a drink of orange juice. My throat is sore as. So, we need some orange juice. 436. The only problem with coming back and um, and playing this career mode from you know a wee bit further back and not having the stats and I guess the equipment that we had last time around is it does mean that obviously your driving distances are a bit less and your accuracy is a bit less as well but it does make it a little bit more of a challenge and we haven't been phased too much I mean three under after four holes you will definitely go and take that so again this is going to be a tough wee one we didn't really position ourselves too well we're really going to hope that comes around with the wind and just holds that's what we need that's a great shot that's a great shot from the position we were in it could have been a lot worse we could have potentially gone over the bunkers but a little bit risky uh, in doing that and this is going to be these putts have not been easy today and that one there hasn't gone and taken the break that I was expecting it to take so we will well, I don't want to say we'll take the par, but fingers crossed we can take it. And it has just been tapped in there. So that's tapped in for par. We stay at three under, stay at fifth on the leaderboard. Berger's kind of gone and had that early push. Remember, he was five under after seven holes, but has really gone, and I guess in the next three holes, slowed up a little bit. So we finish off with another par five. 562 yards, but we do have a slight breeze behind us so hopefully we can use that to our advantage get this really up there we are going to have to drive it about 320 yards uh, to really go and I guess have a chance we've gone past here we've gone 335 um, so that's going to leave us potentially again with a chance to go and get on under regulation on the par 5 228 it's going to be tough I don't want to overcook it so I might hit it full and then just chuck a whole lot of backspin on it because this is going to absolutely race oh that's actually brilliant the amount of spin that we got on that ball that's absolutely brilliant that's probably about 20 feet out ha oh, 20 feet what a guess I was gonna say about 20 feet out for an eagle putt we're up slightly we're gonna try and tap this one in I don't think we've allowed for the break we haven't allowed for the uphill slope either but we are gonna finish off the round with a nice birdie so that is always promising and now that we've done that we've finished up four under and I'm um, really looking to push on into the driver's seat going into round two we're up into third third equal and uh, four under after 15 so we'll definitely go and take that who knows we may potentially have gone and done a little bit more but as you can see only 64 overall um, so definitely a lot of work still to be done um, when it comes to that 64 overall those stats are not great reading, however you look at them. So we actually ended up finishing fourth. Louis Eusthuizen getting up there and finishing on uh, on five under. And I think uh, Jordan Spieth was possibly, he was also on five under or possibly six under. So we're a couple shots behind the leaders, but that isn't too much of a concern. We still have three days of golf left to play if we do go and make the cup, which is looking like we are going to go and do. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter. Links to that can be found down below in the description. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Don Bradman Cricket, My Career Reborn on the PS4. Coming your guys' way tomorrow. Make sure you do not miss that.